While walking through a meadow in the early summer, have you ever noticed abundant foam-like bubbles sitting on grass and flowers? Well, it's not the result of somebody's bad spitting habit. It's actually created by an insect called a frog hopper, which is closely related to aphids and cicadas. The adult frog hopper is capable of jumping many times its body length. You may see some of these adults jumping through the grass as you walk in the late summer. But the immature frog hopper or nymph looks much different and is a little bit more vulnerable than the adult. And the immature nymph of the frog hopper is what creates this spit bubble. And it's not really spit. I'm gonna explain that to you. Here's how it works. The nymphs drink the watery plant sap. And because it's not very nutritious, they have to drink a lot. And as they drink a lot, they actually excrete urine or pee in great quantities that forms bubbles. They excrete a lot of urine. They can make 150 to 280 times their body mass in urine a day. The foam creates a cocoon that surrounds the young nymph as it's growing. The foam serves a number of different purposes. It protects it from predators such as birds, spiders, and wasps. It insulates it against the heat and the cold, and it provides moisture control. Without the foam, the nymph would quickly dry out. The foam also has a very bitter taste, which helps deter predators as well. And how does the nymph breathe in this foam cocoon? Well, it sticks up its abdomen just above the bubbles and uses it like a snorkel. Eventually, the nymph forms one large bubble around itself and then undergoes its transformation into its adult form. So now that you know who lives inside the spit, remember, don't disturb them. They are inside eating and growing just like you.